Here's a clip of him explaining why he won the Nobel Prize. In 2002, I had the great honor of sharing the Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine with Sidney Brenner and John Selston. This prize was awarded uh, in honor of our studies of the nematode Cinerabditis elegans. And for me, uh, the major recognition was for studies that my laboratory had done concerning the phenomenon of programmed cell death, also known as apoptosis. In short, we were studying the basic developmental biology of this nematode, this roundworm C. elegans. And by doing so, we found mechanisms for programmed cell death, for apoptosis, that proved to be conserved amongst animals, including human beings, and elucidated mechanisms that are now being used for targets uh, in pursuits of treatments for human diseases as diverse as neurodegenerative diseases, autoimmune disorders, and cancer. He did well academically as a high school student and was introduced to biology in ninth grade. For one of his projects, he made an extensive insect collection, which the school kept and displayed. He got his first B as a sophomore, which he described as traumatic. He was accepted into MIT and saw no reason not to go there, except for the pleas from his English teacher telling him intellectual development would cease if he went to such a technical school. He also went to Harvard University. We will continue after this commercial. Oh, you look good. Thank you. Hey! See the guy taking my little girl out, huh? Yep. Huh. You know what, why don't you go ahead and take my new car? Thanks, Pops. Go ahead, baby. Watch this. <laughs> Boom! Favorite spot? Favorite girl. You left me with the wrong daddy! I'm taking you home. Why? Car Finder on the Hyundai Genesis. Back so soon? Here you go, sir. Because a dad's gotta do what a dad's gotta do. Honey, what'd you guys do tonight? His dad played a big part in his life. He was very close with his father, and his death really hurt him. His dad would usually be the one to go down and talk to the principal when he got in big trouble at school. Another time, he tried to drive the family car at 15, and crashed into a garage door. His dad convinced him not to run away over the phone, and left work to console him, rather than get angry and punish him. He was born on May 8, 1947. He is currently 74 years old. He had a sister, who also earned a PhD in biology. He also has a wife and three kids. 